Triple E EDC back again with another knife video. This is the CJRB Centros, and this is a Dylan Mallory design. CJRB is a budget division of Artisan Cutlery. Artisan Cutlery, of course, is one of the new Chinese brands. Uh, it's newer than brands like We and Ray Rayad. <coughs> Excuse me. We and Rayad, as you know, uh, burst onto the scene a number of years ago and really showed what uh, good Chinese manufacturing can be. Uh, and and then uh, later on, Civivi knives, um, the Praxis, for example, uh, Civivi knives came came about, and they're the budget line of Wii knives. So CJRB followed suit. I think they're trying to take a note from the uh, business model of Civivi and Wii knives, and they came out with CJRB. They originally had been coming out sort of like Best Tech with uh, budget knives under their own name. So if you look back at the budget knives that Artisan Cutlery, Cutlery was doing before, they would all be under the Artisan Cutlery flag, and you'd have the same design in, in the budget line as you do in the uh, expensive line, and and then they might call them two different things or, or something like that uh, in order to differentiate them. Now they're doing something completely different, and even if they have similar designs, uh, they are going ahead and putting it under the CJRB flagship if it is a budget knife. Uh, I haven't really talked about anything, uh, we're already about like a minute or so into the video, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do some size comparisons uh, for you guys. So, if I haven't mentioned it already, this is a Dylan Mallory design, he's the guy who did the Arkeo, um, and this is the Ontario Rat 1. I got the Paramilitary 2, Spyderco Paramilitary 2, and the Para 3. And, I bought some Benchmades. We got the Benchmade Super Freak and the Benchmade Reptilian. So you can see it's pretty similarly sized in the handle to the Reptilian as far as handle length, uh, but it's more similarly sized to the blade of the um, of the Freak. And let's look at the Benchmade Bug Out and another budget knife. The Civivi Praxis. So you can see as far as length uh, in both the blade, the blade's similar, although the Praxis is a little bit longer and the handle length is pretty similar, um, but it's a much thinner profile blade. Uh, and because it's a thinner profile blade, let's go ahead and take a look at a 940 next to it. And then maybe the Kapara. Two bonus knives that I figured I'd pick up since we're looking at slim profiles. So you can see it's sort of in between the two. All right, um, there is one last comparison that I think um, you guys should look at, and that is the TRM Atom. And this is extremely similarly sized lengthwise, both blade and handle, and the blade shape is very similar. So this is extremely interesting, really because and I just got this knife, by the way, the uh, the Atom, but, and, and I'm gonna do a separate review on the Atom, but this is a $200 knife, and a $200 knife that is done extremely well um, with a simplistic design. This is a $35 knife, and a $35 knife that is done extremely well with uh, also a simplistic design, but, um, they run on different systems. So this is on washers. They polish the washers to give this a very smooth feeling. Almost, uh, it's reminiscent a little bit of some Chris, Chris Reeves type stuff, although Chris Reeves has a different feel. Um, and then this is on bearings, so you get nice smooth action on that. So the reason I think this is important is because this thing is hard to get a hold of. Um, and I'm gonna do a video on the TRM Atom soon because uh, I'm sure you guys are looking for that. They just did a drop on this and they're sold out again. But what that means is on the secondary market, they're starting to pop up. So maybe in the next day or so, I'll try to do something on the Atom. But right now we're talking about the, the CJRB Centros. And if you can't get the Atom, then get the Centros because for $35, um, and that is really the best thing about this knife, this thing is oozing value out of every pore of this knife. I mean, $35, you've got G10, you've got D2, and you've got that nice bearing action with a really, really comfortable, good design and excellent detent. Uh, it, it's um, it's very nice, uh, nicely sharpened from the factory. 
the fit and finish on it is excellent. I mean, it kind of blows me away for 35 bucks. You can sort of see in here, um, you've got this hidden lanyard hole right here, which uh, it, it's a tube that rotates. So if you don't want it, you can actually go in there. I don't know if I have anything small enough, maybe this key or something you can go in there and show you, but it actually rotates to the side. Uh, so you can hide it if you don't, if you're not a lanyard guy and you want to turn it around, no problem. It just looks like another uh, standoff. So, but it doesn't show the screw on that side. So I think it's a really, really nice design on that. And um, I have to give them kudos. Uh, obviously, it, what I'll call this, and the reason this um, comparison, before I really go into further review, is so important, is because I'm going to tell you now before we get into this, this is kind of like your poor man's uh, TRM Atom. It really is. I mean, if you look at them, the, the blade's a little taller on this, but they got very similar blade shapes. If you look at the blade shapes on them, uh, you've got that, you know, where it curves up gradually as belly, not like the Spidey Chef, but more gradual. Same thing here, just all belly, gradual curve up. Um, you get nice ergonomic handle designs. Uh, both of them feel really good in the hand. Uh, they have similar curvatures on the back end, even if they have di different curvatures on the bottom end. Um, they're really, really, really similar. Uh, and when you get both in hand, you'll sort of understand that. Um, so uh, kind of, I kind of con am considering the CJRB Centros as um, poor man's uh, TRM Atom, which is a huge compliment to the Centros because the Atom is actually an excellent knife at 200 bucks. And that means that this thing is something that can compete with a knife that's excellent at 200 bucks. Um, obviously not the same steel, um, but you've still got some, and you've got, you know, other issues in here that, things that are attention to detail, like you've got the uh, pocket clip is recessed on the, um, uh, on the Atom, but it's not recessed into the G10 on the Centros. Uh, you know, you've got, uh, um, other fit and finish things like, uh, I was going to say, oh, the uh, the chamfering on the sides here. Um, you've got much more chamfering on the sides, although you have some here. You've got much more chamfering on the sides of here uh, on the micarta, um, which, you know, obviously this comes in a couple different materials. Uh, you've got recessed scales here. You, you know, you don't have recessed scales here. Nothing's milled out here. You do have uh, stuff that's milled out here, um, which I can show you if I, you open up. So there, there is a bunch of, there's a bunch of differences, but and you know, the, the, those are some of the extra things that you're paying for when you're paying for a $200 knife versus a $35 knife. But overall, they're just eerily similar. And if you can't get a hold of, of this one, this will tide you over really nicely until the next time these become available. Um, I, I'm, I'm just flat out impressed with this. Uh, so to get, get back with the good and the bad, I'll move the uh, atom out of the side. So, so the good, again, um, you have a nice size uh, blade here. I think it's about three and a half inches. Um, I think all their blades on CGRB are three and a half inches. This does come in a couple different different materials here. This comes in the carbon fiber uh, and a couple different colors of G10. Uh, I, I'm going to have to tell you, I got the, the CGRB Tala in the carbon fiber. I didn't like the way the carbon fiber felt, especially when I compared it against some other car carbon fiber knives that I have. I think it was probably a laminate, although I don't know that for sure. Um, but this G10 feels much better. Uh, the other, the, the carbon fiber was very slippery and, and very polished. This is uh, nice and grippy. You can hear it. So um, this this feels really good in hand. I don't have any issues with that. There's really no hot spots here. Um, you know, you can feel the clip a little bit on the back end, but I don't. You know, it's not really. It's not a hot spot at all. I mean, I can bear down on this, and it's really not a hot spot. Um, it's a nice liner lock. Uh, like I said, excellent action on this. I mean, you know, for for a thirty-five dollar knife, and this has not been oiled. Look at this. And, and you can hear that detent click in. The detent is awesome. Uh, I wasn't sure what to think about the thumb stud on uh, on this versus the uh, versus the flipper, but the thumb stud works great on this. Um, I have no issues. Part of the issue, part of the reason I have no issues with this uh, thumb stud compared to like let's say the um, uh, you know this is another ball bearing, uh, another more expensive knife. This is a Ch Chavez. Uh, um, what do you call this? Uh, Chavez 229. So the Chavez 229 is uh, 
uh, is on bearings also, but because it has uh, the lock bar as a frame lock, you can put too much pressure inadvertently on the frame lock and, it, and sort of lock yourself out from being able to open the knife. And um, that is not an issue here because it's a liner lock. Uh, and so that's something that's interesting as well. The detent is also, you know, I think the detent's a little tough here sometimes, even when you're not pushing down the lock bar, um, but it's not at all here. And, you know, when you're dealing with thumb stud knives, um, honestly, out of all three of these, I mean, these two are, this is 200 bucks and you and can go, go as high as almost 300. This is $350 or so. Um, this one has the best thumb stud design out of, uh, out of the three, to be, if I'm being honest. Um, sometimes you get, you know, your, your finger gets sore from flipping the thumb studs on the other two. But on this one, I never have an issue with my finger getting sore. I can just sit here and flip this all day and it's a lot of fun to do so. Uh, let me see if I can get more of these on camera, but yeah, it's, it's just a lot of fun to do this all day long and it feels amazing. So, um, that's there. As far as cutting, uh, this thing has an excellent, you know, spear, I, I'm going to call this a spear point because it really is, you know, it's sort of coming out to this, um, point on both ends, although it's only sharpened on one side, uh, and it, it has an excellent spear point for, for piercing. Um, it has that nice belly for going ahead and slicing, uh, downward slicing tasks. The billboarding on this is really not terrible. You got your D2. I would, you know, they could get rid of the serial number and the China there. You know, that I could live without. The maker's mark is, is, a, is, a, is an attractive maker's mark. Um, and you have the CJRB on the other side, which uh, is fine. But um, again, $35 knife. The pocket clip does look a little cheap, but you know, that's really not a complaint for, for a $35 knife. I think it actually looks better than some of the Civivi pocket clips. Um, for example, this, you know, I think this looks, the Civivi clips sometimes look a little cheap, um, but they sort of have, have a similar, you know, uh, cheapish look to them. And it is what it is. They're effective though, so you really can't fault them. Um, the screws here are not recessed and neither is the, uh, the pocket clip, you know, like I was talking about before, where the pocket clip is recessed in the atom, you know, there's a cutout for that, and you can see that on the end here. Cut out in the micarta for that, uh, for that to go. You can also see that, you know, that's something Hinder is famous for. You can see, you know, they got the, uh, that's why they have the filler tabs on the Hinders. Let me see if I can show one. Yeah, see the filler tabs right here, they happen because uh, you're, you have a cutout there in order to give you some uh, room for the knife here, but uh, and for the pocket clip. So that that's something I'd like to see on, on these knives, but that doesn't really matter, I don't think, in the long run um, on, a, on a $35 knife. I'd, I'd like to see some more milling. It, it probably is a little bit heavier than it could, than it needs to be, um, but it's so... Uh, short in the height of it here that you, that you don't feel it. It's, it, does, it doesn't come off as heavy. I've had heavier budget knives that really feel heavy. This doesn't feel heavy, but you know, because the liners are a little bit thick and they're not milled out, as you can see, uh, it, is, it is heavier, significantly heavier than something like the TRM Atom, which is, you know, it's light as a feather, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, also the blade stock, you know, obviously is a little bit different. Uh, this is the Atom, this is the uh, Centros. So you can see, you know, that even if you're calling it the poor man's Atom, it's not quite as slicey as the Atom. Uh, but again, $35 versus $200. Um, yeah, I can't say enough good things about this for the price. Uh, standard pivot hardware on here. Um, you know, T6 screws, eh. I can get over that. I'd like to see T8 on stuff, but again, 35 bucks, not a big deal. Uh, it's got um, tip up pocket clip uh, carry on both sides. Uh, so just in case you were curious about that, uh, I, I can't say enough good things about it. Uh, $35 every, I, I'm going to say this, every person should own one of these. And frankly, if if you're buying, if you're figuring out what the, the first knife you should buy um, under 50 bucks, most people will tell you this, the Ontario Rat. I'm going to tell you this, the CJRB Centros. That's how much I like it. And that is even, 
recommendation now over what had been my uh, go-to recommendation, which was the Civivi Backlash for $42, or there's that uh, black wash version with the carbon fiber for $51 that I uh, um, spoke to you guys about before. Uh, but I will, on a future review, address the Praxis, which um, honestly is very close uh, here um, as far as a recommendation. Uh, I'm gonna spoiler alert you right now. Um, Although this is the one I recommend over the, the rat, I would also recommend this, this one over the rat, and both of these are outstanding. So, I think that's it. I've rambled on long enough about the CJRB Centros, but I think you get the picture. Go out and buy one right now, and uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and like the video if you have one, or you, uh, or, or you, you know, want to leave a comment about the CGRB Centros or have any questions, drop a comment below. Go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get all of my content. Uh, and just a heads up, guys, uh, I've just hit 400 subscribers, so um, as I get up there in subscribers, I'm going to be doing more and more giveaways. Thanks so much.